everyone, it's Trish here from Pinky's Farm. It's time for Hashtag Friday Sews. And I actually have some sewing to show you this week. I'm so happy for myself. Um, I was very motivated to sew this week because the weather has been really gloomy. A lot of rain, a lot of overcast skies, and um, even though it's not cool out, it's hot. It is like a hot, wet air when you go outside. So I've been staying in into the sewing room and um, I got a couple things made. So let's start with McCall's 9002. This is one of those easy stitch and save. I think I got it at Walmart. Actually, I think I found this at a thrift store, but that's where it came from was like a Walmart. And it's just a raglan tee. It has little darts in the shoulders and it comes together so quick. It's a very fast make. I have made it out of this French terry. And I thought this fabric would go really good with blue jeans, light wash, dark wash, anything. Um, I have put some ribbing as a band on the sleeves and on the collar, and I'm super happy with how it came out. Now my serger is on the fritz right now. I've tried twice to thread it. That occupied two hours of my time, and I finally said something not very ladylike, and um, just gave up and said, I'll just use a zigzag stitch. So that's what I've done. It's a cute little shirt. I think it'll be nice for jeans. And it may end up too short for me. I don't know. Let's see. It's pretty short. So if it turns out to be too short for me, I'm gonna pass this along to my mom because she's a little bit shorter than me. And I don't know, everything just looks better on her. So um, and she dresses like a million bucks. I mean, that lady gets up in the morning, gets fixed up, takes on the world, at 83 years old, it's just amazing. Okay, enough tooting her horn. She may get this, but I'm gonna try it on first. Believe it or not, I haven't tried it on. I'm gonna try it and see if I can wear it. Um, I made a second one of these for a girlfriend of mine who was here. She was up in the sewing room with me yesterday and she fell in love with this fabric right here. And it's, ooh, there comes the bad weather again, rolling in. It's this pretty pink, like kind of a Paris print or something, kind of Parisian. And um, I didn't have any ribbing that worked for the neck and the sleeves. So I ran to Hobby Lobby and they didn't have anything that matched it either. She didn't want pink, she wanted gray. All they had was a very pale gray. She didn't like that. So we ended up getting just this little stretch Heather knit t-shirting to put around the neck and the sleeves. Now the problem is that this t-shirting fabric does not have the elasticity and the spring back that the rib knit does. And so this neck just came out really wide. I've ironed, it's been washed, I've ironed the daylights out of it, but it's just a little bit gapy still. I'm hoping she's gonna like it. Um, I'll give it another good blast with the iron before I give it to her. But I made this one longer and I made it with a scoop bottom because she wanted it longer and kind of that she can wear leggings with it. So here it is. It turned out pretty, but I think that it's gonna be iffy with the neck. But um, I think I can squeeze it in on the shoulder darts maybe, or find some place to take another little dart if it's just too wide in the neck. So I'll give that to her tomorrow. Um, that's those two. Let's see, oh, I also made this, Simplicity 8738. Now the version I made looks nothing like this. Basically I took this pattern and I just hacked it into a sweatshirt for myself. I found this really pretty, kind of fallish looking. It's a little juvenile, but that's okay by me. But it's a fleece backed, it's almost like a little, lightest little fur on the back. And then and it's a sweatshirting, it's super heavy. And I just cut it into a big sweatshirt, put the cuffs on it, put the collar on it, and I also put the band at the bottom. And I thought this would be really good for my trip to North Carolina that's coming up because it's gonna be chilly. And a lot of times we sit around the, the um, fire pit at night or we go into a movie where it's cold or just if we go anywhere in the evening and it's cold, I can throw this over whatever I'm wearing or just wear this and it'll probably be super warm. So 
yeah, I'm happy with that as a sweatshirt. Turned out good. It's kind of big and sloppy, like I like a sweatshirt to be. Now, the last thing I made, I don't consider a win. I mean, I don't consider it a fail either, so I don't know what you call it. But it's going to work as a nightshirt, but it's not going to work as a t-shirt. So I made McCall 7327. I've made this pattern so many times with good fabric, and it turned out really cute. Um, I wanted to make this one, and I wanted to just cut it straight across, or kind of um, a scoop at the bottom, instead of having that point. And my first mistake was, I bought this really cute fabric in a Walmart bundle. And it's cheap fabric. It's super stretchy, even though it's cute, it's ultra stretchy. And the thing just turned out huge. I mean, I sewed it like I always sew them. You cut from the same pattern. I don't know what happened. And I think it's just that this fabric is so stretchy. It just, it just got huge. And it turned out super long, which is not a problem because, you know, I can chop it off. But the worst problem that I have with it is this neckband. Again, another neckband issue. You can see how wide this neckband is. And what happens is it gapes, gapes open in the front and the back. And my mistake was by putting a woven, what do you call this stuff, binding on a stretchy shirt. Don't do it. Take my advice and don't do it. Because the stretch, the neck of a stretch shirt just gets so stretched out because I didn't stay stitch it because of course I thought I was smarter than that. You know, I don't need to stay stitch it, wrong. I didn't and this is the result. And I really wanted it to be a cute t-shirt to wear with jeans. But um, it it's not hideous on. It just doesn't look great on. So I just have to decide if I'm willing to wear it like this and cut it off and make a t-shirt out of it. Or if I just want to stick it in the pajama pile. Because in the winter when it does get cold and when I'm up north, you know, you do need a sleeve sometimes. Um, when you're sleeping. So it would make a great night shirt and it's nice and long. I honestly wouldn't even have to finish the bottom. I could just finish the sleeve, bottom of the sleeves and be done with it. So that's a possibility, but I'm gonna walk away from it for now because I'm really frustrated with it. I'm gonna set it aside and that piece and I aren't talking to each other right now. Um, so I've been really motivated because of the gloomy weather outside and also, I've had these to help me keep going. These are Werther's Soft Caramel Pumpkin Spice Flavor. Yummy. And I was in Cracker Barrel the other day and they had them buy one, get one half off. So I bought the pumpkin spice and the apple. And my friend and I mixed them all up, shook them up, and put them back in the bags. So now we each have half pumpkin spice and half fresh apple. And they're really good and they're soft and just Mm, they just make you want to have some fall weather. Okay, what else am I planning? I'm planning to sew another sweatshirt out of this fabric. This is another Hobby Lobby on sale, fleece-backed, stretch, kind of springy looking. But I think if I make it into a sweatshirt, I'm going to put this color ribbing on it. And I think, you know, I think it'll be cute. For the trip, I mean, I might make another sweatshirt with, with the band here and the band on the sleeves and then do a scoop bottom on it. So that's probably on my agenda. And of course, I still want to get to this bad boy. Still haven't gotten the, picked up the backing for this, but that's on my agenda for next week is go and get the backing for this quilt, figure out how I'm going to bind it, and get to work on it. I may not get it all finished, but I do want to force myself to work on it. The other thing I wanted to remember to show you, I'm so glad I didn't forget, was the dress I'm wearing. And it is New Look 6340. A very simple shift dress. I made mine without this slit in the collar. I just made the rounded collar. Where is that? There's a rounded collar. It has packed pockets on it. And it's just made from a quilting cotton. This is this is what I would consider like a day dress. This is the kind of thing I wear all day long, every day. And um, it just comes to the knee, but it's just plain, but with cute fabric. So um, it would remind you of an 8640, 
but it's not an A640, it's a 6340. And I love this, I've made it several times and it's a great little pattern. Love new look. Okay, that is all that I have done this week and I feel very proud of myself because I've been in a slump for quite a while and all it took was some rainy weather to snap me back. So, um, and some pumpkin spice, of course. So, yeah, I feel like a really old lady eating the Werther's. Like, you see those commercials where it's the old man in the cardigan and he's got Werther's in his pocket? That's me. I'm not ashamed of it. Nothing I can do about it anyway. Okay, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else that I want to talk about, but there's not. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope your weather is much nicer than ours. And um, I will see you next week. Ciao!